Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and Turkey Part 2. What you see in front of you here is a wonderful turkey butterfly. Now, if you don't know what a turkey butterfly is, I will put the link in here somewhere of my video where I explain the difference between a whole turkey, a turkey crown and a turkey butterfly. So what I wanted to show you today is how we prepare a turkey butterfly for the customers at Christmas. Now obviously Christmas is not a million miles away, Thanksgiving is next week so it's always a good time to have a little refresher on your roast turkey. So what we normally do then, 9 times out of 10 customers are having butterflies now so we're boneless breasts some lovely dry cured streaky bacon which goes across the top and then we put some stuffing in. Now today I'm going to show you the classic sage and onion stuffing. You can't beat it unless it's Paxo, the shop bought stuff which I absolutely love. I think it's the king of the stuffings. None of that pretentious stuff you get in farm shops where it's got, you know, I don't know, bruised cranberries and all that jazz in it. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it old school. So, for our stuffing then, we got some decent sausage meat, best quality you can get if you make your own. You've got it there, no problem. Got some onion, some fresh sage, and some homemade breadcrumbs. So, we're going to cheat a bit here. What you need to do, is what I've just done earlier, is finally chop up your onion and sweat it down no color on it you can see they're translucent and let them cool so next let's get rid of that beauty and that beautiful bacon dry cured you can't beat it let's get our various ingredients so in with some sausage meat now it doesn't take a lot to go down that middle but you can make this up you can roll it in balls and have it like that or you can use it to stuff pork any game whatever really it's such a good all-round stuffing so I'm gonna get some of those breadcrumbs in get some of that onion in Already this is starting to smell amazing. Then what we'll do is we'll just chop some fresh sage and get that in there. But yeah, wonderful smells coming up from this. So simple. I'm just gonna chop some of that fresh sage. Just beautiful. Oh. And just do it by eye, you can add a bit more if you need to of whatever don't be too fussy it's all gonna be amazing so sage is one of my favorite herbs I use it a lot in my cooking obviously great with pork absolutely wonderful with offal liver just a wonderful fresh clean smell and taste so just gently go through it and then across that simple and in we go just give that one more mix now if you were to leave that overnight, it would get better. All those separate ingredients would get to know each other.
wonderful absolutely wonderful god that's gorgeous just have a look at that right let's stuff our turk can you say that so this turkey butterfly then as you can see it is the complete breast with no bone and basically just make a random sausage shape and put it where the breastplate was just give it a shape up like that fold those tenders onto that bit there really 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 simple and we flip it over and we start to give it its jacket of smoked streaky bacon it's twofold that streaky bacon being streaky as fatty will add some much needed moisture to your turkey now you can leave it on if you want to obviously you won't get your crispy skin or 30 minutes towards the end of the cooking take it off and crisp up the skin but basically what we're going to be doing go that way is giving it a wonderful coating of the streaky Beautiful. So yeah, just look at that. So, completely boneless turkey butterfly with homemade sage and onion stuffing and then topped with that wonderful streaky bacon. Next, we need to tie it. change the angle so you can see what we're doing so this is just to hold it so nice and gentle the butcher's knot I have got a video of the butcher's knot I should put that link in the comments too but yeah just drawing it up not too much pressure there's a knife And then one more on this end just to hold it all in place and there we have it that lovely turkey butterfly dressed up ready for Christmas dinner okay so it's Christmas Day you've got this big lump of meat I mean every year is the same and it that panic sets in how do you cook a turkey well basically as you know it's a big chicken so just think a posh Sunday lunch and once you get that mindset trust me you will have a much more relaxing day Anywho, no matter what happens, first thing we need to do is get the weight of this beauty. Put that there. So that's coming in at six pound five ounces. So I've got my oven then set it 200 degrees C. I'll have to figure out the gas mark. I'll put it up here somewhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a roasting tin, put it in the oven and give it 25 minutes on that heat. That's the initial sizzle. And then I will turn it down to about 180 and give it 20 minutes a pound. But the trick is 
to get in the perfect poultry is the simplest thing ever. A meat probe. Once you've got one of those, you can go along periodically, just probe it, check the temperature, and you're away. It's that easy. Anyway, let's get this in a tray. Let's get it in the oven, give it that initial 25 minute sizzle, and we'll go from there. But, how good does that look, hey? Beautiful. What a beauty. So, I have got half a cup of water in the bottom, add a bit of moisture, also when all those natural fats ooze out in amalgamates with the water, absolutely stunning for dipping bread. I mean, making gravy. Anywho, I'm gonna put this in the oven, 25 minutes, no oil on it, I'm gonna rely completely on this duvet of bacon. Beauty. Let's get it out. Don't burn your tannins, boy. So that is what it looks like after that 25 minute sizzle. So I have turned my oven down now to 180 degrees centigrade. Again, I'll put the conversion, and literally, I'm just going to cook it for about 20 minutes a pound. So, what's that? Two and a half, two hours. What I'll do is I'll check it after an hour and a half, and once we reach an internal temperature of 70 degrees C, it's done. That simple. I'm not going to cover it, I'm going to let the bacon do its dependable magic, protect it, add moisture. I may take it off in the last half hour, then again, I might leave it on because it's quite a good perk while you're carving just to rip bits off. Oh yeah, back in she goes, my friends. How good's that looking? So this has had that 25 minute high heat sizzle. It's been in the oven at a lower temperature for an hour and a quarter. So that brings us to Let's just say one and three quarters. I reckon about two hours for this. Two and a quarter. Just give it a check. First of all, I'm going to go straight in the middle. If you can see that. Yeah, that's a good reading. That's 75. Just go in the thick part of the breast there. Don't know if you can just about see that. So I wanted it 70 degrees C. That to me, my friends, in one and three quarter hours, is cooked. Wonderful. So what we need to do now, oh, look at all those juices, that water makes hell of a difference to it. Is <laughs> lightly tent this with foil and let it sit for three quarters of an hour, an hour, let all those juices redistribute and go back in to my mui. The hard bit is trying not to keep dipping in there. Stay away. Not looking too shabby. Now you could try and cut through this. It's softened up. By that I mean cut through the bacon, cook some slices. Peel the string off. Come on, you beauty. you have it one stuffed turkey butterfly 
absolutely perfect. Mm. So tasty. Oh, no, that's good. So all you've got to do then is all the important bits. The veg, the gravy. But you've got the turkey sewn up. wonderful anyway if you like what we're sitting here today on the SRP please click subscribe when my face comes up down there also check me out on my social media Facebook Twitter Instagram at the Scott Reed project and if you feel like helping the channel along sharing the love please check out my patreon page but until next time my friends have a great Thanksgiving and a great Christmas if I don't see it beforehand. Remember, it's just a posh Sunday lunch. Take care, my friends. Hope the camera ain't rolling. Mm. It's like crack.